Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 19 Basics video. I'm Nick and I'm doing a Farming Simulator 19 beginner guide for all you people who have just got the game on PlayStation Plus and you may be wondering how to do one or two different things. So today we're talking about the sheep. Here we have a sheep pasture. To place that down all you need to do is go into placeables, animal pens there and go all the way to the end and you've got two sheep pastures the small one at $65,000 and that will hold 80 sheep or you've got the large sheep pasture for $180,000 and that will hold 250 sheep press on that and choose your nice flat area that you want to place it if you can't place it on a flat area and there's got to be some terraforming done. You can always smooth it out afterwards. If you want to know how to do that, check out the video landscaping and placing placeables. But yeah, so for now, we have this sheep pasture down. Now, first of all, we need to get some sheep in there. Two different ways of doing that. You can buy a animal transporter and drive up to the animal dealers yourself and by the sheep they will cost you $1,500 and you just bring them down and park in this area here and you can then transfer them into your pasture if you don't want to go to the expense of buying a animal transporter just walk up to this area press L3 and you've got your sheep there you've got four different colored sheep you've got white brown black and white and black now if you don't have your own animal transporter you will find a 100 pound yeah 100 pound transport fee per sheep so yeah it can get a little bit more expensive once you've put quite a lot of sheep in there so i'm just putting a few i think that's 30 white sheep in there confirm and there we go we've got our sheep so once you've got your sheep in there you need to get food and water in there we'll just have a quick look at the animal pens menu first and it will show you there that they haven't got any food they haven't got any water so they've got no pr productivity percentage there which means they are not reproducing and they are not producing wool for you so how to remedy that we've got a water tanker here now i've just placed this water storage it costs five thousand dollars it's in placeables miscellaneous and you can just place it anywhere you want on your own land if you're not next to a water source and there you go drive up to it with a water tanker press l3 to start filling and you've got your water in there you can drive to the water trough there R1 triangle and there you go it's got water in the sheep pasture now so they've got something to drink for the food they eat either grass or hay you can use bales or you can use loose grass and hay if you're using loose you would want to mow the grass and using a loading wagon pick it up drive up to the area and you'll get the the prompt r1 and triangle to to put it in there but for this example i've got bales you can either make the bales yourself or buy them from the shop and there we go the sheep have now got some food might not take all of these i don't know if they no i don't think that last one's going to go yeah, there, there isn't enough sheep to take all of it just yet. So I'll get that out of the way. So that's the food and water covered. Now, for them to have a good reproduction rate and also producing wool, you need to keep the food area clean and tidy. Now, as they eat, they will make a mess of that food food area i just need to speed time up a little bit so that yeah they, they're going to make a bit of a mess there as they're eating there's probably yeah there, there's a few different ways of keeping the area clean and tidy 
This first one I'm going to show you is using the bucket on the front of the telehandler. You can use, you don't have to use a telehandler, there's wheel loaders, there's the front loader attachments to most tractors and yeah you can just attach any bucket to these things and you will be able to clean up. So there we go, we've got our first piece of mess there, I'm just going to drive up to it with the bucket down and it's gone straight into the bucket. I'm just going to tip that back out and that has gone straight back into the feeding trough. The next way is using a conveyor belt here. They cost $5,000 and you'll find them in the shop menu under trailers and tools and uh, conveyor belts, belt systems I, I believe it is. So you walk up to it and press enter vehicle like any other vehicle. If you've got the tow hitch down there, obviously for transporting it places, to use it, lift the tow hitch drive into the area here and turn on belt and there you go it's picked it straight up and it's dumping it straight back into the feeding trough for you and finally we have the broom so all you need to do is walk up to the area and sweep it straight back into the feeding trough okay now the broom is a mod so you'd have to go into mod hub and find it on there I recommend having a look around the mod hub anyway there's quite a lot of things on there that will enhance an already great game okay so that's how to keep your feeding area clean and tidy by keeping it clean and tidy you keep the reproduction rate up and also the production rate of the wool now the wool will appear here and you've got these bales of wool they are 250 liters each and you will get four in one of these pallets so yeah if you're on normal economy settings then the wool pallets usually sell for around a thousand dollars it's a thousand dollars per thousand liters so there you go obviously if you're on hard it will be less than that if you're on easy it will be more than that and that is your wool and you sell it at the spinnery now the other way of making money with the sheep is by breeding them okay so they obviously we've said they've got the reproduction rate now we've got 30 sheep in there they're reproducing every 32 hours the more sheep you have the faster the reproduction rate the fastest they will reproduce is every four hours but you've got to have a nearly full pen to get that if you do have a completely full pen if you've got the 250 sheep in there they will stop reproducing so when you're getting once you've got up to the four hours reproduction rate but before the animal pen is full you want to start selling the sheep off to start making your money now, as we've said, they cost 1,500 to buy. To sell them, you will sell them for $1,000. Obviously, if you've got your animal transporter, you take them up to the animal dealership. If you don't, then you still have to pay that $100 transport fee again. So there you go. Now, with the different colored sheep, if you've got all one color, sheep they will reproduce with each other and you will get a great reproduction rate if you mix the sheep up then they will only reproduce with other sheep of the same color now yes it, it is quicker by all having the same sheep i'll give you a for instance 240 sheep reproduce at four hours if they are the same color however if you've got 60 sheep of all four different colors you've still got the same amount of sheep but they're going to reproduce at once every 16 hours you're still getting the same amount of sheep because every 16 hours you're going to get one white one black one brown one black and white whereas if you had all brown for instance 
you're going to get one brown every four hours so like i say it's the same amount of sheep but it just works differently if you want to keep it simple just go with one color if you want to mix it up a bit why not okay so i think that's about it guys for the sheep to tell you the truth they're nice and simple they're quite easy to look after easy to feed and yeah they do bring in a bit of money for you now i hope you guys have got something from this video I am going to be posting more videos in the very near future. We're going to be looking at cows, at pigs and at horses next. So keep an eye out for those. If you're not subscribed and you don't have notifications turned on, you might want to think about doing that so you do find out when those videos get posted. Guys, thanks very much for watching and have an amazing day.